Eric Red is a Los Angeles-based novelist, screenwriter, and film director. His films include The Hitcher, Near Dark, Cohen and Tate, Body Parts, The Last Outlaw, Bad Moon, and A Hundred Feet. He's written nine novels, I believe, to this uh, date, including Stopping Power and White Knuckle, among many others. And Eric, you've been on my radar for about 30 years, so it's a real treat to, to get to speak with you like this, and I appreciate you coming on. Oh, well, my pleasure. I want to focus on Cohen and Tate. Just real quick, I'd be a uh, fool not to bring up a couple of your prior pictures to that, uh, which would include The Hitcher. I was wondering if you could share any reflections on that film, and in particular, Rucker Howard's performance of your character. Well, you know, The Hitcher was... You know, it was my first uh, produced screenplay. It's actually my first screenplay. Um, and, you know, we got it made at a, at a time in, you know, back in the 80s in Hollywood um, where the timing was very good to get an original screenplay. There was, uh, there was a lot of support at the time for uh, doing material that was original and new and different. And... Mm -hmm. um, it, it wound up being a movie where there were a lot of first timers involved when we made it. Um, not the lead producer, Ed Feldman, but you know, the producers, the director, myself, I, th I thought that they did a very faithful, very solid, a version of the script. Why are you doing this to me? You're a smart kid. I didn't do it. Yeah, it's a film I think now part of its impact derives from the fact that it's not just a, a bloody serial killer movie, but it's a psychological thriller where the the relationship, which is um, never fully spelled out uh, between the hitcher and the, the kid who picks him up and who the, the hitcher torments, uh, I think that that has sort of allowed the audience to fill in the blanks, which makes it... Uh, which it, which I think is a technique that um, always works because right. you, you don't explain everything. Uh, the audience figures it out for themselves and they engage, they actively engage with the movie rather than just letting the whole kind of thing wash over them. You know, sort of like John Ryder says to the, to the kid at one point, he says, you know, you're smart, you figure it out. You know, I like that. <laughs> How, how did you get such of a an instinct for writing these types of crooked characters and macabre situations? Where does that come from? When, when most people in their 20s are losing their innocence, you were writing, you know, these movies. Usually for me, probably the story. Um, as a writer, I've always sort of come up with a story idea first and then find that the characters kind of come out of that. Some people do it the other way around. Um, you know, uh, you know, with the Hitcher, uh, I'd been, I'd always loved the Doors song, Riders in the Storm, and thought that would be a fantastic opening for a movie. And when I left New York and went to Texas and had a long drive, you know, to Austin, kind of the movie fell into place. But, you know, it was the, you know, you try to follow a logic. You know, it was like, okay, this kid picks up a hitchhiking killer, he escapes the killer, you know, then what? Um, so I came up, I got the idea that the Hitcher was framing, uh, you know, for, for the killings. And then the question becomes, why is he doing that? You know, and that's, that's sort of, it was sort of thinking along those lines that the characters fell into place. I mean, the most important thing when you're writing a, a bad guy or a villain or a serial killer or whatever, that you, they, they must have a logic, you know, because it, the biggest mistake, and you see it all the time, is when people just write, you know, evil slashers who are just evil for no reason, you know, the, 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 the best thrillers, you know, that have the best villains, the, the characters have a logic. I mean, it may be a twisted logic. It is definitely a twisted logic, but it makes sense. So it's sort of incumbent on the writer when you're working in this genre, to, you know, explore the psychology and, and, you know, you follow different logic. Everyone, please check out Eric's work and his novels. He's got a great imagination, and uh, you can certainly escape in his work. So be sure to check it out. And so thanks again, Eric. Thanks, Mike. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you.